Hello friends, we are going to discuss the moment of inertia of a ring. So this is the ring and this the mass, this is, it is a very thin ring, it is nearly two dimensional ring and its mass is evenly distributed everywhere. So let us consider that M is the mass of the ring and R is the radius of the ring. Now let the M1, M2, M3, M4 dot dot of the Mn be the n particles on the circumference of the ring. Now we know that the moment of inertia I is given by I equal to M1 R1 square plus M2 R2 square dot 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 up to Mn Rn square. In the similar way we are going to write here the moment of inertia. So the mass for M1 I will write here M1 and this ring. Now we know that if it is rotating about this particular axis of rotation, the distance of every particle will always be the radius. The distance of every particle from the axis of rotation will be the radius. Hence I write here M1 R square. Then I take the next particle. So I write here M2. Distance from the axis of rotation is radius. So I write M2 R square. Similarly, I write for all the particles and for the last particle, I write Mn R square. So, R, the radius, R square, we take in common. So, I, that is the moment of inertia, I equal to M1 plus M2 dot 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 to Mn into R square. So, the moment of inertia, I is equal to M R square. This is the moment of inertia of this ring when this ring is rotating about the axis which passes through its center. It is a transverse axis which is passing through its center. Now the next we are going to consider the moment of inertia of a uniform disc. So now this is a uniform disc and we are going to find the moment of inertia of this disc when this disc is going, we are going to find the moment of inertia of the disc when this disc is going to rotate about a transverse axis passing through its center. So in this way, when the disc is rotating, let M, now we are considering this is a uniform disc and rotating about an axis perpendicular rotating about an axis perpendicular to the sphere of the board, the disc is two dimension. The disc in my hand is three dimension. So this is the axis. The disc is uniform. It, its thickness is also very very small and it is rotating about an axis passing through its center perpendicular to its plane. Now, let M be the mass of the disc and R be the radius of the disc. Now the surface density sigma is equal to m upon pi r square that is the mass of the disc upon the radius of upon the area of the disc. So m upon pi r square is the surface density. Now we want to find the moment of inertia of this uniform disc. But this disc is made up of fine rings, fine concentric rings having various radius, having different radii. So we consider one ring having some radii, some radius smaller. Let us consider one ring which I am showing here or which I am showing here having the radius small r and let the thickness of this ring be dr, be dr. So the area of this ring now will be this 2 pi r is the circumference into the thickness which is very small so dr. So area of the ring will be 2 pi r dr. Now the surface density sigma is equal for that 
particular ring is sigma is equal to dm. dm is the mass of that ring. So dm upon 2 pi r dr. Therefore dm is equal to 2 pi r dr into sigma. So the moment of inertia of the ring of this particular ring will now be dm into r square. So the moment of but this disc is made up of many such concentric rings. So the moment of inertia of the disc will be integration. So now we are going to integrate from 0 to r that is from radius equal to 0 to radius 2 equal to the maximum radius of the disc. So integral of 0 to r dm r square. So this is integral of 0 to r for dm I write 2 pi r dr sigma. So this is 2 pi r dr sigma into r square. Now this is r and r square become r cube. So integral of 0 to r 2 pi r r cube sigma dr. We take the constant quantities outside the integration. We get 2 pi r 2 pi sigma integral of 0 to r r cube dr. Now we do the integration part. So we get the moment of inertia of the disk is 2 pi sigma and for this r cube dm integration of r cube d r cube dr integration of r cube dr is r to the power 4 upon 4. This is according to the formula for the integration according in the mathematics. So this r to the power 4 upon 4 the limits of the integration are from radius equal to 0 to radius equal to capital so we write here 2 pi sigma r to the power 4 upon 4 minus 0 because here the radius is 0 upon 4. So I get 2 pi sigma r to the power 4 upon 4. So we get, now I put the value of sigma that is the surface density from here. Sigma is m upon pi r square. So we get 2 pi m upon pi r square r to the power 4 upon 4. So cancelling r square, 1 r square from this and cancelling pi also and 2 and between cancellation between 2 and 4, we get the last answer as moment of inertia of the disk is m r square upon 